Hello again, this is John Gerzon, and in this episode we'll be talking about how to make a comic and my process for penciling. Last time we talked about being a layout artist, storyboarding, and the different shots that you use in creating and telling the story. After taking on the process of laying out the panels and choosing the best to dramatize the events, it's time to draw in pencil. I like to use a technical pencil with an H lead. It's a little less messy and it's a lot easier to erase. Some people like these mechanical pencils or other types. Some even use erasable blue pencils. In these early stages of drawing, I focus on solid shapes and drawing through. What this means to me is I have to make sure that when I draw the characters or objects that everything connects and follows good rules of perspective and anatomy. Try keeping things loose. What that means to me is that I don't worry about the realism at this part. I try letting it flow and keeping my drawings interesting. I can use reference if I need to, but what's more important to me is that I make drawings that are believable. I also am a big believer in a strong action line. That one line that cuts through the character to show the gist or the general movement. You can see here in this picture how the line goes through the leg from one end to the other. Watch as I take the arm and it flows from one arm all the way into the other. When I'm ready to take on the composition of the drawing, I give myself a frame or a gutter, usually an inch at the top and bottom and a half an inch on the sides. A good composition is essential to a great drawing. I follow a few rules to help me along the way. Use the rule of thirds to help you balance your character's position. Divide this page into three parts and make sure that each character is placed accordingly, not too heavy on one side or the other. In this picture, you can see I'm placing the villain with dramatic lighting. And to balance the picture out, I have given him his two hands to even out the page. Also use the rule of nines. It helps us balance the composition by having focal points at each of the crosshairs, dividing the thirds vertically and horizontally. Note that I'm going to be emphasizing hands in each of the focal points. Try using the rule of nines to add more interest to your composition. You can see here I've added some street signs to make this area more interesting. At this point I can go now and we'll start working on tight pencils using a model sheet. A model sheet can be a cleaner drawing previously done or just something that I've drawn to help me maintain the consistency of the character. Oh. So let me forget, got to keep a sharp pencil. It's a must when you're doing tight pencils. A final note to good drawing, don't be embarrassed to um, put a lot of grids on your paper to get accurate perspective. Having a knowledge of one point, two point, three point perspective. You can never get enough grids in your paper to make sure all of those rules are followed. No one said that penciling is going to be easy, but with a few simple rules and lots of practice, you too can pencil comic book pages. Just draw, draw, and draw some more. Hey, that's not too bad. It's been fun. Well, this episode's over, but I look forward to seeing you next time when we practice inking. My name is John Gerzon. We'll see you soon.